What is going on everybody? How is everybody doing today? Welcome back here today to an updated reaction here to ESPN's new mock draft. So if you don't have ESPN Plus, I got you with this. It is 2022 NBA mock draft projecting all 58 picks after the NBA draft combine. This is from their weed draft guy, uh, Jonathan Gavoni, or now their weed draft guy after Mike Schmitz, who's like, uh, he doesn't do too many mock drafts, but he does a lot of scouting trips and all that on Twitter. He's actually the assistant GM of the Portland Trailblazers now, which is dope for him that is sick um and yeah this was updated or uploaded a few days ago i don't know when you guys are seeing this uh but may 31st 2022 so just have that a little bit in sight in case somebody tears their acl or or somebody's like i'm not going there like anything catastrophic happens just know this was recorded um on june 1st this came out may 31st so yeah if you guys enjoy these reactions it seems like you guys do you really enjoyed the first one to espn's mock drop a thumbs up i just uploaded my updated mock draft recently um with some changes to the top as well so let's see what he's got um he does still have jabari smith number one um and chet number two yeah uh that's what he had originally that's what i just changed mine to i wouldn't do that personally but if that's what is gonna happen i'm gonna mock that i want to be right so yeah still is jabari smith one Chet Holmgren, too. I'll try to remember what he had recently to see what changed. Uh, Van Caro, three. That was definitely what was in his old box. So, yeah, that's pretty much... It's looking like that's going to be the consensus top three in order. Not who you take, like, not who's better. But Jabari Smith, one of the Magic. Two Chet to the Thunder. And three Rockets taking Van Caro. I'm wondering if we're ever going to see some rumblings of Ivy or Sharp to Houston. Just to be like, whoa. Um, I guess Mobley was kind of always projected to go three last year. I guess there was rumblings about him too to the um to the Rockets. Who in 2020 there was nobody. Yeah, I guess that might be still the top three. I don't know if we'll see anybody uh, hop in there. Four Jaden Ivy to the Kings. I have that. Yes, and then okay, that is a new one. That is a new one right there. Keegan Murray five to the Pistons. Shaden Sharp drops out of the top five. Whoa, um, he might be getting that hype Scotty Barnes got last year. And Sharp, we never saw it play collegiate ball. So, um, does he mention why? Sharp will also get a long look here, but he will need to have a strong showing competitive private workout or uh, in a competitive private workout setting to solidify his standing at this slot. Yeah, we've seen Murray play very well um, in the Big Ten last year uh, for Iowa. And that is a little bit of a shocker. I mean, if that's going to start looking like what things could look like, I might have to adjust. If I start seeing Bleacher Report hop on that trend, if I start seeing um, like Pistons beat writers saying they're looking at Murray at five, they're not looking at Shaden Sharp, I got to adjust my mock draft like that. Um, at six, we have Dyson Daniels. Wow. Is he really jumping this high up draft boards? I've said that he's going to be a riser. I didn't know about number six. Like, it's crazy. We're at the point where he's probably going to go above Johnny Davis, Benedict Matherin, AJ Griffin, Jalen Duran, and like all of those guys. Um, and in this one, Shaded Sharp, too. Okay. Dyson Daniels to the Pacers. Would I do that if Murray's off the board? No, I would go Shaden Sharp here, I think. Um, but okay. Portland at seven. They take Shaden Sharp. All right. Um, yeah, he was the number one ranked high school player, but I don't know. You already have Lillard. You already have Simons. Uh, he's probably not going to help you win now next year and for what they need, like wing defenders. I don't know. I don't know. Would they roll the dice on him or would they trade him or trade the pick? We'll see. So that is definitely some shakeups there. Just Murray at five. I have yet to see that. Daniels at six. I don't think I've seen that yet. And then Sharp at seven. Um, yeah, I've not seen any iteration of these three like in that. Uh, so eight, he's got what I think Matherin. It's got to be Matherin, Davis, or Griffin. I'm going to say it's Griffin, and it's Matherin. Okay, wow. Um, Matherin going in front of Davis and Griffin, which isn't too shocking at this point. I feel like that is definitely could happen, and Jalen Duran. Okay, all right. Well, just this mock draft, it definitely looks different. I was like, after the top three, I'm like, is this going to be any different? Or top four, it's different. Uh, nine, Spurs, Jalen Duran. like that a lot for them. I need They need big man depth. And I'd probably take Jalen Duran over Johnny Davis for that team's kind of roster construction. I don't know, though. AJ Griffin, I, I like the potential about AJ, and I would love if he fell to the Knicks. But does he go to the Wizards here? He doesn't. That is Johnny Davis. He helps them win now. They're trying to win now around Chris Stops and Beal kuzma etc so uh that makes sense for them does that mean aj griffin falls to the knicks at 11 and it does knicks take aj griffin so coming off a disappointing season the knicks desperately need to upgrade at point guard but yeah uh, i like dyson daniels at 11 i don't love ty ty washington at 11 yeah trading this pick for malcolm brogdon i would be i would like that i would be attracted to that i would love that 
honestly. But uh, I don't know if we'll see that happen. Eh, would I love that? I guess. Ah, uh, not a worse contract. I ain't get, didn't get that extension. Actually, I don't think I like that. I, I think that's. I don't. I think I don't want the Knicks to do that. Um, next up, we have Usman Jang to the Thunder at twelve. I believe he mocked that previously. Mark Williams to the Hornets. Yeah, that has been mocked in everybody's mock draft. Is Mark Williams at thirteen? So just set like no on draft night. Do not mock that. It's not happening because everybody thinks it's gonna happen. Uh, Cavs take uh, Malachi Branham at fourteen. I've been pretty vocal about O'Shea Ogbaji here, but that has been mocked in plenty of mocks as well. Um, Todd tied to the Hornets. No, they take O'Shea Ogbaji. Okay. Um, another Kansas swing, joining Kelly Oubre there. Uh, 16, Hawks take Jeremy Shohan. Like that. I mean, they could be a Washington fit as well for back a point guard. But yeah, Jeremy Shohan falling to 16. I think it's a steal. I would take Shohan over Usman Jang. I would take him probably over Malachi Branham. Um, I'd maybe even take him over Mark Williams. Uh, 17, we have Ty Ty Washington of the Rockets. Yeah, what's going on with John Wall? I don't think Kevin Porter Jr. is a long-term answer. I like that pick. Uh, Tari Easton to the Bulls at 18. Oh my goodness. If he falls to 18 to Chicago or 19 to Minnesota, that is just some perfect landing spots for Tari Eason. Uh, Nicole Jovich going to the Timberwolves at 19. Not the biggest fan of that fit there, uh, to be honest with you. Jalen Williams going to the Spurs at 20. Um, and also, when I was recording my mock draft, Terquavion Smith ended up returning to college. I don't think I had him in my first round. Um, and I think Dale and Terry stayed in. Um, of course, I just recorded that before that happened. Kennedy Chandler to the Nuggets at 21. I mean, with Compazzo, Monty Morris, Jamal Murray coming back, that just seems kind of crowded um, at that point guard position. Jaden Hardy to the Grizzlies at 22. Yeah, like, I'd love Hardy there. I'd love Marjan there. I'd love uh, Blake Wesley there. Um, so, yeah, not the biggest fan of the Nuggets taking Kennedy Chandler there at 21. I like take the chance on Jaden Hardy at 22. Uh, yeah, even, even EJ Waddell, take him there. You need big man depth. Um, yeah, EJ Waddell, love that to Brooklyn at 23. Milwaukee at 24, Walker Kessler. Yeah, they need big man depth as well. Brooke Lopez is getting up there. Uh, Bobby Portis is possibly, is going to be a free agent most likely. Caleb Houston, 25. I have not been seeing him too much in the first round. So that's a little bit of, um, a shocker. Trevor Keels, I think he's going to go at the end of the first round. I think he's kind of a lock to be a first round pick. Same with Dale and Terry, just because of his size and his athleticism. Uh, Christian Braun, um, not Braun, Brown. Uh, to the Warriors at 28. I think he had that last. Uh, Marjan Beauchamp to the Grizzlies at 29. So two G League Ignite players for them. They take Beauchamp, and then they also take Jaden Hardy. And then at 30, we have the Thunder taking Blake Wesley. Steal. I like Wesley. Probably in front of Marjan. Probably in front of Christian Brown. Probably in front of a lot of these guys. Definitely in front of Caleb Houston. So that is a little bit of a shocker. Is this a two-round mock? It is. So Andrew Nemarch and the Pacers. I wouldn't be surprised if he went in round one. Um, to one of these good teams that like the Grizzlies or the Warriors or the Heat that are trying to be good next year as well. And Jacob Oravia to the um, Magic at 32. I like that. Watson, I don't know why he's declaring he should really stay another year at UCLA. Browns are the Thunder at 34. This man has probably the most disparity in his draft position. People think he's a late lottery. Some people say he's a guaranteed top 20 pick. First round, he's going 34 in Jonathan Gavoni's mock. Who is going to take a chance on Kendall Brown? Patrick Baldwin Jr. as well. Bryce McGowan's going 35. There's Baldwin Jr. to the Blazers at 36. I mean, I love that for them. Uh, Wendell Moore to the Kings at 37. That's a fantastic pick. Um, looking at these, Christian Coloco to the Knicks at 42. Hell yeah. There's Leonard Miller, who I think Jonathan Wasserman had at like top 20. So there, there, there's a lot of disparity there too. Um, Ryan Rollins here uh, out of Toledo, the Clippers. I've been hearing good things about him. Max Christie to the Hornets at 45. Okay. Uh, there's the other Jalen Williams to the Pistons. Shady Davison to the Timberwolves at 48. Uh, Angie Montero, I think he did those last. They took both those point guards um, who at once projected first round picks. Michael Foster. Oh my God. Remember if you watched like my 2K20 rebuilds or 2K21 rebuilds, I would be taking Michael Foster and like. 2022 draft or 20 yeah probably 2022 draft top 10 like so many times he would develop so well and he just really didn't pan out for the g league ignite um or just for him himself uh ron harper going to the blazers at 57 and then some picks are yeah the bulls and the heat picks are relinquished due to the tampering um time of trades with lowry and lonzo ball so yeah that is gavoni's updated 2022 mock draft let me know what you think of it down below um drop a like if you guys do enjoy me reacting to these mock drafts as well i also think i think you're going to see this before this video comes out um but i'm going to start ranking my uh positional players so point guard shooting guard small forwards power forward centers or it, it's obviously weird with the nba now but like there's no solidified positions like the nfl or 
um, for some times or for some um, cases, uh, the MLB or the NHL. But I'm going to do my best with that because usually I do it at the start of the season um, and I'll do it at the end of the season. Uh, so yeah, this is basically based off of this past year. And then like when I do it before the season starts, it's what I think will happen this year. So yeah, those will come. So be on the lookout for those. Thank you for watching. I love you guys. And I'll catch you on the next one.